we put the, the question out there, what do you want to know about BMX? And we got some answers back. Peter underscore Stokes 0178 asked, why don't you hold more jams? A quick little story time. I used to live in a country town in Victoria. Broadford, you represent. We actually just started putting jams on ourselves. Like uh, we'd go to the local supermarket that was in town and ask them if they could hook us up with like sausages and stuff. And we'd put a barbecue on and just people came and, and rode and ended up being, I think we had like maybe three of them. People would come from all over like the region. So I think if you want to have a jam uh, or if you want to know why there isn't more jams, then you just need to be putting them, uh, putting one on yourself. But that's an awesome question, Peter. Yeah, we've got Civic Jam coming up and we've also got a few things uh, in the works from spring all the way through to summer. So yeah, get ready for it, I guess. Bike.bandit said, when will you be getting Colony Coaster wheels back in stock in black? Colony's actually run out and um, we've been trying to build up some more, but uh, if you contact us, um, send us an email, we'll be able to maybe do you a deal for a, a Colony uh, coaster wheel where we will build it up for you. So send us an email. Uh, this is a good one. Um, R dot underscore dot, uh, it's pretty much Rory. Why is Chrome worth more than black and white parts. From my understanding it is that there's a lot more process that goes into chrome um, and it's also toxic uh, slash dangerous. To make chrome parts it actually I guess costs the earth more and it's a little it's more dangerous for people to actually make um, so if you like chrome more I think it's probably fair to have to pay a little bit more for it. Uh, there's a few for Riss who he'll be jumping on and answering them for next week, so I'll leave those. At Craven8809, Sean Craven, Mad Dog, trail builder from SA. Sean said, is the BMX industry getting worse? I wouldn't say that the BMX industry is getting worse. I would say that it is harder for the BMX scene in general because there seems to be that there's less uh, diehards coming through as the, as the new, like with the new generation. I guess what I mean by that is there's less, uh, less people who are willing to do something for BMX and they're more about what they can get from, from BMX. It's just like I said before in Peter Stokes' question, the whole running jams thing, you know, People need to get out there and, and run jams. People need to get out there and build their own spots, whether it's jumps or a street spot or whatever. Or, you know, like people need to realize that <laughs> it's not what you can get from BMX, but it's what you can do for BMX that makes BMX so strong. Um, you can kind of see, I guess in a, in a sense, the way BMX was reclaimed from big corporations when BMX died in the 80s, uh, and then all the rider, own, all the the pro riders and top riders decided, well, we're going to make our own companies, and we're going to really, we're going to put out our own contest series, and we're going to do our own thing, and that's where BMX really, really boomed because there was a lot of people that were looking after BMX and making sure that BMX was. Um, in a, good, in a good spot. And I think that now um, it's kind of swung back around again where there's not as many people that are looking to uh, help BMX grow. So yeah, that, I guess that's my take on the whole if the BMX industry is getting worse. I, tough questions. <laughs> freestyle now, freestyle underscore now, AKA Sean Jarvis who's a bit of an Aussie legend. He has asked, why is there less Flatland riders and more skate park riders in Australia? I reckon Flatland's really hard to do. Uh, it takes a lot of skill and patience. From an outside perspective, that's what it certainly looks like. It seems super hard to do. And uh, we are very fortunate in Australia to have really good skate parks. So I'd say that's probably what um, what it comes down to, but 
I guess as long as we remember to freestyle now before it's too late. Jarvi. All right, that's it for the week. Um, yeah, tune in, I guess, next Wednesday. Um, we'll have another Ask Backbone Wednesday up. Um, if you've got any questions you'd want to ask, then be sure to chuck them in either the comments section or uh, on the Instagram posts that we do. Uh, make sure you subscribe to us. Thanks, thanks for the support and yeah, see you next time.